On the part of the Senate, the joint public session is resumed. On the part of the House of Representatives, the joint public session is resumed. To our duly elected president, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., to our duly elected vice president, Vice President Sara Zimmerman Duterte, Congratulations. You have been placed by God in this position for a reason. May He lead you into your purpose and may you live it courageously. In every step you take, may God protect you. I pray for God's blessings for your leadership, for you and your family. Congratulations. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate our President-elect, Ferdinand Bongbong, Romualdez Marcos Jr., Maligayang Pagbati po, President BBM. To our Vice President-elect, Sarah Zimmerman Duterte Carpio, congratulations, Maminday. Congratulations also, and thank you to the Joint Canvassing Committee, led by House Majority Leader Ferdinand Martin Romualdez, and Senate Majority Leader Juan Miguel Zubiri for the swift and fair canvassing that guaranteed the people's faith in our electoral process. Thank you to all the honorable members of the Joint Canvassing Committee and the Secretariat for your hard work and invaluable support 
and ensuring a historic canvassing that was finished in two days. Ngayong araw na ito, Congress bears witness to the unity of our country. A true partnership between the North and the South that has become the unity of all corners of the country. In previous elections, Filipinos voted for president and vice president from different parties. Finally, this year, we will learn the importance of voting for a tandem, a unity team that can work together, a unity team that can collaborate with each other, and a unity team that can push for a shared national agenda. The people have spoken decisively. This is not just your sweeping electoral victory. This is an overwhelming victory for all Filipinos. This is a victory of our democracy. The gracious acts extended by the camps of other candidates yesterday, which greatly facilitated our proceedings, show the best of what Filipinos can be, even in the most divisive of elections. Nakikita po natin ngayon ang tunay na lakas sa pagkakaisa at pagsasanib pwersa. We need a catalyst. And there is no better example than the unifying force that we have seen and we will see in a government led by President BBM and VP Inday Sara. The Philippines looks forward to your leadership. It is my great honor and privilege to congratulate you both today. Mabuhay po kayo. Secretary General. Ladies and gentlemen of the 18th Congress, Honorable Sara Zimmerman Duterte, the duly elected Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines. May we request the duly elected Vice President Sara Zimmerman Duterte Carpio to proceed to the rostrum. May we also request the family of the duly elected Vice President uh, in Daisara Duterte to accompany her to the rostrum, please.
Do you send it, sir, because of you? Ladies and gentlemen of the 18th Congress, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., the duly elected President of the Republic of the Philippines. May we request the duly elected President, President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., to proceed to the rostrum. May we also request the family of the duly elected President Ferdinand Bongbong Romualdez Marcos Jr. to accompany him to the rostrum.
majority, majority leader? Yes, Mr. President. Out of all the excitement, uh, we forgot that we have to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, Mr. President, on the part of the Senate, I move that we adjourn this historic joint public session. On the part of the Senate, this joint public session is hereby adjourned. Majority Leader of the House of Representatives. Mr. So Speaker, on the part of the House, I move to join the joint session. On the part of the House of Representatives, this historic joint public session is adjourned.